it really helps to know that you know you're not doing it just for the several million patients worldwide but really for, for family members um, it, it helps you get up and get motivated to do what what you're doing yeah I'm uh, Stefan Erion. I work at Memorial Sloan Kettering with a group of scientists and clinicians uh, under the leadership of Lauren Studer and Vivian Tabar to bring a new cell therapy for Parkinson's disease into the clinic. Medi the medical control uh, of the disease is just not, not good enough. Uh, it helps in the beginning, but eventually people become less and less responsive to the therapy and um, they really suffer from it. And it's, it, you know, it's not a, an acute disease that will kill you like a heart attack but it's a disease that you have to live with for many years. And with all the other diseases that you develop with age, um, you know, you, the, more and more therapies come along for those. So people really have to live with Parkinson's for many years once they're affected and, and it, it becomes detrimental uh, to, to their quality of life. It affects not only them, but all their caretakers, their family members, their children and so forth. Um, so I'm really hoping that our therapy will, will bring a relief to these patients um, and, and make really change the quality of life for them and their families. We hope to be in the clinic um, in uh, the second quarter of 2018. Um, so we've licensed the, the technology to a company that will support uh, the trial, uh, Blue Rock Therapeutics, and um, they will um, support, support the trial financially uh, and we will file the IND um, coming out of the institution. Um, and that will happen early next year and then Obviously, there's uh, IRBs to, to please and so forth, so it'll be a few months before we then can enroll the first patient. So Parkinson's is, is very complex. It's mainly characterized by most people based on the motor symptoms, um, but there's other effects that this therapy probably won't, won't control, but since the motor uh, symptomatic is really what's, what, what the patients are suffering from, this should be, should be a, a tremendous relief for, uh, for their symptoms. We believe that a single treatment of, of the cell therapy will provide a lifelong uh, benefit to the patient um, because they stably engraft and they can produce dopamine in situ and, and help the patient. Uh, so this is vastly different than uh, uh, medication that you would have to take multiple times a day. Uh, it's to some extent also different than deep brain stimulation where you have a pacemaker in your brain that requires batteries and adjustment and so forth. There's huge excitement for these type of therapies. Um, for, I mean, it, it's a cell therapy that's based on embryonic stem cells, so some people have a hesitation with that, but I think uh, there's very few in my experience. The people that are affected, they're, they're looking for treatments and they're willing to do it. I mean, with, it's, for me, it's quite fascinating how many people without really knowing too many details of what we're planning to do, they'll say, sure, sign me up, you know, and it really shows how desperate they are. And um, the Michael J. Fox Foundation and Parkinson's Disease Foundation, they have a lot of patient advocates that also we work with, that we work with uh, together with Claire at, at Cornell that uh, really tries to, to educate these patients uh, so they understand what, what, the, what the therapy will be like. Um, and, and the general enthusiasm is, is really great. You know, to be honest, I think the, the, the speed that we're developing this therapy is, is actually remarkable, given that we were literally just publishing an academic paper um, in 2011, and here we are in 2018 talking about a clinical trial. Um, when I joined this field after um, coming out of medical school, embryonic stem cells were just discovered. Um, and a couple of years later, people started talking about these induced pluripotent stem cells. And so that field, in my opinion, has, has been really, really rapid. And yeah, I guess being emerged in it, I realized that nothing happens overnight like you know, the public may expect it. So I, I think the field is actually advancing relatively fast.